Hello and welcome programmers. In this video, we would be learning about the wrapper classes in Apex. So let's get started then. So basically you all have uh, gone through a definition of a wrapper class that it is a container class data structure or an abstract data type whose instances are collection of other objects. So basically what it means is that um, basically uh, it is a custom object that is defined by a Salesforce developers where he defines the properties and that object is we can call or that class is we call as a wrapper class in whole okay so uh, why uh, it is important because in apex visual force lwc it is uh, help or it helps us to cover our business scenarios okay and what are those business scenarios we would be understanding a bit later okay so uh, if we talk more about our wrapper classes then our wrapper class in simple words is a custom defined type by the programmer okay whose structure will be defined as required by the programmer that ultimately depends upon you that how you define the wrapper class for example you may want to define a type that would contain some account data some images and some another custom data so if you want to entertain that whole data into a single type so you uh, cannot have your uh, primitive types like uh, list, set, map, etc. For that, you have to create a wrapper. Okay, so that is what is the meaning of wrapper class in here. So I hope you understood that what is the meaning of wrapper class. And now we would be going to create a wrapper class. So our scenario is we are to get the account name, list of all contacts related to that account and the count of all the contacts of that account so just a simple introduction for you all so we would be working upon this uh, this wrapper class okay so i am going over to my developer console in here i would be going with apex class and uh, a wrapper one okay so this is our apex class and in here i would be creating another class uh, inner wrapper or we can say that account contact wrapper okay so we are having this class with it now what was our uh, question uh, that we are to create uh, account name and the list of all the contacts so for account name i would be doing string account string name uh, we can do this and uh, we are to get and set the properties of this variable so we are writing get and set okay so it just behaves like your getter and setter methods and you are to get the list of contact list of contact contact list okay and you are to again get and set this list as well okay and uh, integer count of contact so i would be doing uh, contact count again get and set and public public and again public okay so just doing uh, simple methods created these three variables and uh, this entire account contact wrapper is your custom defined class okay and now what you are gonna do now you are gonna uh, fetch this details over to your wrapper one and how you are going to do this is by creating a method for this so uh, you would be doing public static void show all data uh, or we can do show account data 
and instead of this void return type i would be returning my list of account contact wrapper okay and this would be a method show all data so now it it is it should return what it should return uh, it should return a list of account contact wrapper okay so how can we do that is just a second list of account contact a wrapper we have to create a wrapper list so uh, guys in here now what i want is i want to uh, have a list of accounts that is acc list and what i want is i want to query uh, select id name and select id uh, name uh, uh name or select id last name email from contacts and this is from account okay so i had a query in here and for this uh what i would be doing is i would iterate over this so for account a in acc list uh, what i would be doing is I would be creating a uh, object of this class that is this obj is equal to new this and what I would be doing is uh, now I have uh, the entire uh, uh, this entire class I have the instance of this entire class in the obj so what I would be doing is obj dot uh, name is equal to a dot a dot name okay and uh, for your uh, contact wrapper what would you do is obj dot uh, contact list is equal to what would be your list of contacts that would be a dot contacts okay and now there is another variable that is contact count so obj dot contact count is equal to a dot contacts dot size okay so this would uh, give me the size and now i would be uh, what i would be doing is i would be adding this to the wrapper list and i am returning the wrapper list in here so uh, some important terminology since we are doing in uh, uh, our code editor that is your developer console only so if you are doing or if you want to populate this data over to your lwc components so uh, keep an annotation of aura enabled in all of these because this is necessary for you all to display the data and uh, but if you are uh, only uh, want for uh, learning purpose you can omit this for now and over this method as well you have to write or enabled and cacheable equal to true else while it would uh, pose you an error that uh, these method must be catchable true so this would be your uh, wrapper class and i would be displaying you this wrapper list okay so now uh, my wrapper is also created 
now just I have to check my uh, wrapper list and for uh, this checking I would be making use of uh, my console that is from here uh, from debug that is your execute anonymous window that would appear so what you would do is wrapper1 dot wrapper1 uh, dot show account data and I would be and this is returning me a list so list of account contact wrapper obj is equal to and or uh, we co we are uh, 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 writing the uh, debug statement in here so no need for this as well because it would execute and see guys so this is my account contact wrapper list so I have created some custom accounts, some custom contacts and the contact of count of contact. See, see the contact of account ID, ID of contact, the last name that we took and account contact wrapper another one. The name is test, contact count is 2 and the list of contact is, uh, it is having the account ID, uh, the contact ID and last name. So in this way you can view your account contact wrapper. So what we have done is we have nothing done a rocket science kind of thing What we did is we created an inner class that is a wrapper in that we defined certain properties Like the name contact list and the count of contact And what we did in here is we created a method that is returning this wrapper just okay and then uh, we created account contact wrapper because we had to return the value so that's why I am creating a wrapper list and thereafter I am querying my account and over that I am iterating over all the values one by one so I have to put uh, these values into the list so for that purpose I am taking this account contact wrapper creating an instance of that wrapper and accessing the values and adding those values into um, my this uh, account object and um, after that I am adding this entire object to my wrapper list thereafter I am debugging uh, the wrapper list and the output is uh, in front of you all so I hope now after seeing this video uh, your doubts related to your wrapper class are solved and in the further coming videos I would be making some more um, videos on wrapper classes so that all of your concepts and doubts get cleared and we would be also working over the UI part so for now I hope everything is sorted out and if you have any problem you could comment down below okay thanks for watching then guys